But what are erosion models? As already said, they are models which, given as input the characteristics of a steady state trajectory at the stage of impingement against a solid wall, provide the mass flow rate of removed material associated with the current impact, dot E imp. Although few erosion models were theoretically derived from basic principles of solid mechanics, most of them are empirically obtained by fitting the experimental results of dry direct impact tests. If we neglect any possible interaction among the particles and consider steady state erosion, in a dry direct impact test we can establish the following functional relationship. Mass of removed material, delta M, equal to the solid mass flow rate, dot ms, times the testing time, t, times a function of the jet bulking velocity, vjet, the nozzle specimen inclination angle, theta jet, some properties related with the particles, such as size, shape, and hardness, and some properties related with the target material, such as density and hardness. As it has already been explained in the previous lesson, in dry abrasive jet impingement tests, the particle stokes number is very high. Therefore, driven by inertia, the solids tend to move with uniform velocity, following a straight line from the nozzle exit to the target surface. This means that, broadly speaking, all particles share the same impact velocity and impact angle, VP imp and theta P imp, which are approximately equal to V jet and theta jet, respectively. The idea at the basis of empirical erosion models is to apply the same functional relationship at the local scale of parcel wall impacts. This yields mass flow rate of removed material, dot e imp, equal to the mass flow rate associated with the parcel trajectory, dot m capital P, times the same function f of the parcel velocity at the impact stage, v capital P imp, the inclination angle of the trajectory at the impact stage, theta capital P imp, the properties of the particle, and the properties of the target material. A widely used erosion model was proposed by Oka and co-workers based on dry direct impact tests on different metallic materials using either natural sands or artificial glass beads as abrasive particles. The equations might look complex because they involve many coefficients and parameters, but they are rather simple from a mathematical point of view. Note that the OCA model accounts for the effect of impact velocity, V capital P imp, impact angle, theta capital P imp, particle size, dp, Vickers hardness of the target material, hvt, and density of the target material, rho t. Coefficients a and b must be obtained by specific laboratory tests on the target material, whereas all other parameters were provided by the authors in tabular format for the combinations of particle and target materials considered in their experiments. Note that in OCA model, the dependence of dot E imp upon theta capital P imp shows the typical non-monotonic trend observed for ductile materials, and that the impact angle function depends on the Vickers hardness of the target material. The methodology described so far can be used to predict the steady state erosion of dilute flows in simple and complex geometries. For instance, here you can see an application of this procedure to the simulation of a wet direct impact test, including fluid flow computation, particle tracking, and calculation of the penetration rate map, which shows the typical W shape. Instead, here you can see the predicted penetration maps on the cage of a choc valve for oil and gas applications, as obtained from a numerical investigation that I presented at the ASME conference on pressure vessels and piping, in 2018. In addition to the already mentioned limitations of dilute flow and steady state erosion, the traditional strategy suffers from an even more serious flow. This resides in the high number of submodels and parameters that come into play in a CFD-based erosion prediction model, which includes those related with the RANS modeling of the turbulent fluid flow, 
those related with the modeling of the particle trajectories, and those related with the erosion models. Often, sub-models and parameters are not well characterized, thereby acting as sources of uncertainty on the numerical solution. The good agreement with experiments in certain conditions, often performed with respect only to the final output of the model, that is, the material removal, does not guarantee that the same combination of sub-models and parameters is capable to produce reliable estimates for other flow conditions. Particularly, it is impressive to note the huge scatter in the integral erosion ratios of wet direct impact tests, obtained by employing different erosion models that, according to the recommendations provided in the literature, should have been all potentially applicable. This was subject of discussion in a research paper that I co-authored with my colleague Stefano Malavasi in 2017.